Oh, kia ora whanau and mauri ora. Um, man, this is an awesome opportunity today uh, to catch up with Sarah Field. Now, you you may or may not have heard of Sarah, but I have in, in, my, in my world of weight loss and things, when you look around, there are icons in this weight loss journey and Sarah is one of those. And uh, you should blush because you're, you know, what you've done is amazing. Um, so Sarah, maybe just as we start, maybe if you could just introduce yourself to us, tell us a little bit about um, who you are and where you're from, and then we'll get into your weight loss duty. Cool. Um, hi everyone, Sarah Field, as uh, Trevor said, I am originally from Otaki on the Kapiti Coast, um, 39 years old. Um, spent uh, about nine years travelling overseas and then I moved back to New Zealand and to Wellington and more recently in the last couple of years Palmerston North, so that's where I'm based now. Yeah. Awesome, yep. awesome. <laughs> so um, you've been on a weight loss journey, how long ago did you start and maybe if you can tell us how heavy you were, if you're comfortable with that, if not that's fine, but how long ago did you start the journey? Well, I think my journey to weight loss started about 20 years ago actually. Oh gosh. Um, to be honest, all my life I've been, you know, the bigger girl. Uh, roller coaster ride of every diet under the sun. Um, but this journey, which will be my last journey, uh, started two years ago. Awesome. So two, two years ago you start the fat journey. Yes, indeed. And um, in your time in the journey, can you tell us how much weight you've lost? I've lost 54 kilos. I started at 127.2 and now I'm maintaining 73 kilos. So, Fano, now you know why Sarah is a big icon in this weight loss scene, right? Because anything over 50, that's my kryptonite. I can't get over 50 and I'm working, I'm trying, I'm in the 40s, but you know, for me, anyone I meet that's lost 50, that lights me up and because I'm heading there, that's where I'm going. So, um, can you maybe take us back to the start of the journey though? Tell us a little bit about some of your health conditions or some of the problems you were having or experiencing because of your weight. Yeah, um, to be honest, I never really thought I was all that overweight, which is weird given I was 127 kilos. I knew I was a big girl. Um, I was that happy fat person. Um, my biggest, sort of, I didn't really have any health conditions, but I did have degenerative discs in my back. So I had a lot of back injuries. Um, back would flare up, time off work, uh, stay at home, emotional eating, and that sort of cycle. So um, there was definitely a drive to help get the weight off for my back. Um, and just to be fit and healthy. And uh, I also met my husband four years ago. We, we just got married two years ago. And I decided that um, I really needed to get my body um, healthy and fertility fit to try for a, for a baby. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. So um, 50 kilos later, here you are. Uh, tell, like, how has your life changed in that time? What are the changes you've seen for you? You know, just everyday life and just stuff you never thought you could do. Um, well, it's, I guess it's just the, the energy, um, the mental clarity, like it's really weird but I still remember like maybe two weeks into the first round, I was waking up and I actually felt awake, like I felt like I'd actually slept and I'd go to work and I'd sit at my desk and it was like the fog had lifted, but it was a fog I never knew I had. Um, just like, I never felt bloated but when I was not bloated, it was just like this lightness to my body. And just yeah, just being able to get back out and do activities, um, swimming, water sports, snorkeling, all those things I used to love when I was a little bit um, younger and fitter because as I put the weight on, I still wanted to do all those activities but my joints ached and you know, the back and the neck would hurt so I'd always just be the one to sit, sit out. But now I'm out there. So we're in Rotorua today for the fat ball and I was on the luge today. We did five <laughs> luges, me and my family. So cool. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And look, I, I'm at those little tight spaces on the <laughs> luge, right? Uh, 50 <laughs> kilos ago, there's no way you were doing that comfortably or happily or would, it, would you have seat. even tried? I would have been worried about not fitting in the seat, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, that's, that's another thing. Like, it's the weirdest thing, as you notice. But for me, um, airplanes. Again, I said I was that person that didn't really realize how big I was until you sat in the airplane seat. And I still remember having to breathe in to do up the seat belt and worry about the bit of thigh that was uh, expanding onto the seat next to me and, and bringing up the armrest. And you know, it was things like that that would bring, bring me back and go, hmm, what, what have I done to myself? <laughs> you know, so yeah. it's the little things. You know? So, I mean, I've been there, I've done plenty of travel and plenty of flying, and yeah, you're dead right. All that. 
all that stuff. And sometimes I think for people that have a lot of weight to lose, we, we share very similar experiences, but we just feel trapped and like we can't get out because we've tried every diet and we fail. And I've, I've tried countless diets and failed and the weight's come back. Um, so, you know, you're two years in the program, in the fat program, you've maintained that weight loss yeah, now. So, so what's the difference? I've maintained for yeah. about seven months. Wicked. Um, and, and like you said, you do lots of program, and I've done other programs successfully. It's that maintaining it. And I think with the FAT program, you know, you you learn these tools to carry on for life. So rather than um, you know going back to the old way of eating, it's, it's a change. I can listen to my body now, like in terms of when I eat something I shouldn't, I actually feel the bloating, and I'm like, that doesn't feel very nice. Mm -hmm. um, I think my stomach's shrunk, like I can't eat as much. So every time those things happen or a trigger happens, I I um, I don't know body just goes boy what are you doing yeah. and I just go back to clean eating and I've been able to maintain for seven months now um, yeah well you're a you're a testament to it because um, you look great you. and um, you know you must just feel great as well so you know well done well well done to what you're doing and, and of course you're, you're now a mentor and a coach as well and you're helping yeah. people on their weight loss journey absolutely um, how's that going for you enjoying that oh, process I love that I mean it started with just friends and family um, and you know, seeing the results and wanting to know what I was doing, but it's extended out into you know strangers now who are new, my new fat family. Um, and to be honest, for a total selfish reason, mentoring keeps me accountable to my own results. You know, how can I possibly putting be putting it out there and helping others if I am putting on the weight back on myself and not using our tools and keeping the weight off? So that's probably one of my biggest selfish reasons for being Amen. a mentor. I I know exactly that. Yeah. I know exactly that for sure. Yeah. Hey, so some people watch this uh, interview and they're gonna have 50 kilos to lose and they're gonna say, I can't do it. I just can't do it. What do you say to those people? Have you tried the fat program? <laughs> um, look, you know, I lost 16.8 in my first round and I was, like anything, I give it all my go when I, when I try doing it. But it came off so fast and I sat on the fence for three months before I joined, you know, and I watched all these stories on healthy living and, you know, I was like, Meh. But once you get started, it's just it's so easy, um, and I just kept continuing round after round. And you know, I think you've just got to give it a go. Yes, it is different than other programs out there, but uh, it works. Um, it works if you stick to it. Uh, it's not always easy, as you know, Trevor. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, you know, and, and I found my first round super easy. I didn't have a lot of social events on uh, during that month. Um, my my following rounds a little bit trickier, but the tools are still there, and you just stick to it and. Um, small chunks. I never imagined losing 54. No. My goal weight was 80, and all of a sudden I was 81, and I went, hmm, I'm just going to keep going, <laughs> you know. And the next thing I was 73, and it's like, whoa, you know? yeah. Awesome. So just start, give awesome. it a go. Oh, that's great advice, Farno. And um, you know, Sarah is a, a weight loss coach and mentor in the Fat Program. If you want to connect with her. Um, you know, get a hold of us and we can get a message through to her or find her on Facebook too. She's uh, um, doing amazing work as you can see and uh, changing her life and helping others too. So Fano, don't sit on the fence, go at it, start your journey, move on.